Okay. Okay, thanks. So good morning. Uh, this talk is about phase lock loop based frequency synthesizers. So in modern wireless transceivers, the uh, PLL based frequency synthesizer plays a critical role, not only as a local loss layer, but also as a phase modulator. And actually designing a functional PLL at the circuit level is not that difficult if you have a very good reference circuit from your friend. However, designing a robust and high-performance PLL for various applications requires diversified system design perspectives. So this, this tutorial gives us an overview of frequency synthesizers focusing on system design aspects for modern wireless systems. So this is the outline of today's talk. Uh, firstly, I briefly cover PLL basics, which are good enough to explain different PLL architectures, including analog PLLs, and then digital intensive PLLs, and hybrid PLLs. Then I will move to fractional and synthesizers with an emphasis on Delta Sigma fractional and PLLs, and also uh, introduce a hybrid FIL filtering technique for quantization noise reduction. Then I will move to PLL-based phase modulation, followed by summary. So now let's begin with the PLL basics and architectures. The main role of the frequency synthesizer is to synthesize multiple frequencies for up-down conversion in different frequency channels. Uh, different from digital clock generation, the frequency generation for wireless system requires high spectral purity in the frequency domain, as well as good zero performance in the type domain. For example, a pool our of end phase noise uh, will cause a reciprocal mixing problem with interferers, while high uh, bad embedded phase noise performance will also cause a high integrated phase error, resulting in degraded bit error rate performance. One of the most important properties of the phase lock loop is that it guarantees a zero frequency offset by a phase lock technique, even when there is a static phase offset is present due to the uh, circuit mismatch in phase detection. Therefore, uh, as illustrated here, we can easily control output frequencies by simply changing the division ratio of the digital divider. There are three critical uh, parameters in the, in the synthesizer design, which are phase noise, reference pair and settling time. Since those parameters are all very sensitive to uh, the bandwidth of the PLL, having an optimum loop bandwidth is very important to achieve a good overall performance. So uh, skipping the basic analysis on the linear model, let's directly jump into the very typical PLL structure for frequency synthesis. So this is the charge pump PLL in which uh, the phase and frequency detector and the charge pump are used. So as you may know, the PFD generates a pulse whose pulse width is uh, pulse width is proportional to the phase error. Then charge pump just converts the phase error information into the corresponding amount of charge in the voltage domain to control the voltage control dose later. In addition, uh, the, since the charge pump PLL generates um, creates an uh, ideal pole at DC, actually uh, integration uh, in the DC, uh, this one uh, provides a type to PLL with passive filters. So this one does not require an active amplifier, which is greatly simplifies the PLL design. In addition, the PFD provides the frequency section 8 when the PLL is out of locking range. So for the PLL designers, it's very important to know how to draw a, an open loop game by handwriting, which is very important, very useful when you have to debug the test chip or when you design the chip in the initial design. So this is one typical uh, open loop, uh, board, board plot of the open loop game for the type 2 for the PLL. First, there are two integra integrators. So one is from the VCO, because it says VCO is the voltage to frequency converter, and we are uh, analyzing the PLL in the phase domain, so there is the 
inherent pole at this thing, the free field. 